Texans get the underwhelming win, I'll say, against the Jacksonville Jaguars today. 24 to 20. We're going to talk about everything that happened today. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host is always Harley Dugan. Texans, Jags, look, it wasn't a fun game. It was not. The Houston Texans decided to not show up in the third quarter. And the fourth quarter wasn't so pretty either. They made some plays here and there. But ultimately, when the ball was in number seven's hands, when you needed a game-winning drive, if there is something I'm going to take away from this game, it's you do not leave any time for number seven. You do not leave any time for C.J. Stroud and company because he is going to make sure you lose the game. And C.J. Stroud did just that. Shout out to Dare Ombugawale. Uh, game ball for him. One of the guys that was big time for you. I believe it was a third and 18, third and 20 or something like that, that he had converted uh, off a little four-yard pass. The Jags defense decided to play 10 yards back. They hiked the ball. Then the Jags defense continues to move backwards on the play. I didn't understand it, but hey. I'll take it. Dare and Bungawale makes a huge play, gets the first down, continues what was a magnificent drive from CJ Stroud and company who ended up capping it off Dare with the game winning touchdown. The Houston Texans move on to three and one. The Jaguars 0 and four. And there has to be conversations around firing head coach Doug Peterson. I will say, though, it was not as embarrassing as it was last week when they got just <laughs> enthralled by the Buffalo Bills last week, uh, dropping a 40-burger on them. The Texans, though, did not do such thing. It was still an underwhelming win despite some of the yards behind C.J. Stroud and Nico Collins. Nico today, 12 catches, 151 yards, and a touchdown. Stephon Diggs had himself a solid day. C.J. Stroud still had over 300 yards passing, regardless of 12 penalties and 93 yards. And that is the biggest thing we got to talk about again is the offensive line and the lack of just cohesion from them overall. They have mental lapses. These are just penalties that continue to happen week in and week out. It has been going on for three straight games since the Bears game. You have had horrible penalties on the offensive line. Today, not so many false starts. You had one by Shaq Mason. No false starts. Over, under, Laramie Tunsil. I said over, under, two and a half false starts. He hit the under. We're going to lose some money on that one, folks. But regardless, Laramie Tunsil did leave the game for a bit, did come back. Blake Fisher was in the game at left tackle. The offense in the first half looked good. CJ had 216 yards passing, touchdown. He looked like you could do whatever you want through the air if you were the Houston Texans. The second half, it wasn't so hot. In the third quarter, it was a no-show. The defense, where was the pressures from Daniel Hunter and Will Anderson? They just were nowhere to be found defensively. The secondary, you had multiple guys that were wide open. And Trevor Lawrence continued to overthrow the ball and continued to just not put the Texans away. Regardless, you had a muff punt to start this game. Steven Sims, what the hell are you doing? Uh, Jacksonville recovers. They're on the two-yard line. They score a touchdown. It's 7 nothing After a really big three and out to start the game, you give them seven, shooting yourself in the foot. The Houston Texans just continue to have penalties. Again, 12 penalties for 93 yards. It wasn't pretty whatsoever. The Houston Texans got to play better. We're moving on to Buffalo, but this was an underwhelming win. Another lot of meat left on the bone type of win. It was unfortunate, and it is not fun right now. Regardless of being 3-1, and one, I'm very happy being 3-1, and one, but this win, this team, 
isn't the same Texans that we were hyping up this offseason to be playing at a certain level. They're just not there yet. The crutch answer is that the offensive line has only played three games fully healthy, and that could be what's holding back Bobby Slowick. I feel like I don't want to go there. I feel like Bobby Slowick isn't uh, doing his job per se uh, with the number of weapons, regardless of no Joe Mixon, regardless of no Tank Dell. You still got so many weapons offensively for this team, and you only dropped 24 points today. I guess I just got to stop giving them 30 point score predictions until the Texans drop 30. Hopefully they do it this coming week against the Buffalo Bills. But until they do that, they're going to have to prove it to me. I'm going to have to stop dropping 30 plus score predictions, but I'm always going to be throwing that trash talk around. Y'all already know that the Houston Texans get the win today in a very underwhelming way. We'll definitely be having a lot more videos coming soon on what was a letdown victory for the Houston Texans. D'Amico said there is no such thing as ugly wins. I will say this right now. This was an ugly win. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.